Uh, <laughs> I'm just okay. I'm, I'll, I'll 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 humor this. Hey, Snood, I'm I'm uh, currently in the market for a new CPU, specifically satisfactory. If I had to focus on one factor, should it be L3 cache, clock speed, or cores? I'll buy a Ryzen. Uh, would the extra cache really help big factories, or is that less of a factor in games like this, or am I better off looking for something else? Oh boy, I wish I knew the answer to that. It's, uh... CPU architecture is very difficult, and there are many factors. Like, it could be the, like, depending on how you play the game could actually depend on what's, like, CPU technically is the best. But I would say, um, I would argue that more cores is not going to benefit the game too much because the game is mostly running on like, I think the like the game can't really run on too many cores because there's not too much you can offload on, on, on threads. Um, so I would say it's more important to have clock speed as it is with most games. But I think there's also an element of cores too. So like, but, but here's the thing, like I have a, I have a four core CPU and the game runs same speed roughly as like my fucking monster rig so i don't know if it actually matters too much uh, and that is overclocked the one that i have um l3 cache might make a difference but i, I think out of all those i think clock speed is the one that's gonna make like have the biggest effect for satisfactory um, but i might be wrong so don't just don't just take me as reference here uh, but the game is heavily CPU bound. I will say that as much. The game is really heavily CPU bound. The game isn't super... It, it is ther serialized, but the game isn't like monster serialized. So if you have like 16 cores, don't expect the game to be utilizing all those 16 cores. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to say here. So hopefully that helps.